Hello, my Dysplastic Nevi, I'm Mr. Church, and today we're going to be doing a little shorter video. Here's the location, by the way, very important. Um, this one is less of a tutorial and more of a showcase of a unique location, so right here near Vault 96, and of course, whatever that spiky workshop is, I could have just read it, but I didn't, and now I don't know what it's called. There's this weird dirt formation here that you can walk through and you can build in, and it's been here since before the Invaders from Beyond update, so I don't know what it's supposed to be, but let's build something in it. It's kind of weird, so let's build a kind of weird camp to go with it. So one thing I've noticed, noticed about it, when you first load into a server, it will look like this, which is, you know, it's fine, it's just weird, and it's, it's bigger around, and the wall of it is smaller. But if you fast travel away and come back, it will look like this. So this is just what it looks like for me. If someone were to come here um, before fast traveling away and coming back, it will look different. So, you know, you can build it around whichever version you want, um, depending on if you want it to look a certain way for you or a certain way for other people. Um, I've chosen this one because it is more compact and the walls are bigger. So first thing I'm going to be doing is shoving in a mattress so that I can sleep inside the wall of it. And I just got swamp itch from my own bed. That's nice. Um, what I'm doing is I'm making like a little rubbishy mole hut, if that, that doesn't make any sense. And I want all of the things that I would need in my camp in this chunk of shit. So we're gonna, you know, I, I'm going to put in some of the crafting benches that I'll use. Um, the chemistry station, I use that one um, on this character. And I also use the weapons workbench. Um, and I also use the, um, uh, what's, what's it called? The cooking station, of course. Um, for the tinker's bench, I, will, I can just use my Fallout First tent, so I don't need to shove that in. And if I really need an armor workbench, which I really usually don't, I usually just use repair kits on that shit, then I can just use one in the world. It's not a big deal. I don't use it frequently enough to shove it in here. So anytime I build something and put it on the mattress in there, I'm going to go in and make sure that my character can still lay down in there. Um, just to make sure there's no... Because it needs to be functional, you know? It's uh, not feng shui, but, you know, I don't, I don't really have a joke for that, so just pretend I said something amusing, we can all, you know, belly laugh deeply, that was fun, wasn't it? Now, because I started recording, it instantly started raining, so now I need to fast, tra or go to another server, and then fast travel away and come back, so it can be the correct texture, it, which is fine, I love that. Um, so now, uh, what I've done is I've put a generator in here, and I've put a power conduit thing, and I've put two benches, and this asteroid thing, which I really like, by the way, it gives you the radiation barrel rads, which is good for a bloody build. Honey, so I can go get um, the Sweetwater Special Blend. And then I'm just going to throw some gourds down while I build. That didn't need to be in the video, but you're welcome for bonus content that no one asked for. Over here, if you place it on a pressure plate and then move it once, it'll depress. Um, people have told me that in the comments before and I ignored it. Because why would I want to do something... Um, in the easiest way possible when I can spend my life doing it the hard way. It's kind of like how I could be making a much longer video to waste more of your time, uh, but, and I'm kind of sad that I haven't, but next time the video will be longer, so don't worry about that. You can, we can get back to our usually uh, uh, scheduled programming where I waste as much time of your life as possible that you're never getting back. So here is a TV, of course, so we can watch the one channel that is just snow. Um, and I'm going to put an old piece of shit chair there, why not? Um, as I go, what I'm kind of doing basically is I'm going around the mound. Haha, <laughs> rhyming, now I can write poetry, you didn't know that about me. Um, and adding shit as needed, just to kind of fill in the spots. And the nice thing is, we don't have to worry about the floating look that we always are cursed with, because this weird, mushy thing... Uh, kind of fills in all the cracks, so it will look like a pile of shit in a way that we usually can't get in our camps. And this allows us to make the perfect dwelling place for a mole miner, or just a, a mole, you know, just a ratty rodent type of creature. I want to put this safe here, but it, it's too short, so I'm going to put a box down in there, 
Well, first I'm gonna ADHD put a filing cabinet. We, we don't wanna miss out on filing cabinets, you know? Uh, we all love filing cabinets. And then I can build the safe on top of that and we can see it poking out of there. Um, let's see, so, I mean, I've gotten all the stuff I basically need, a refrigerator that I'm never gonna use, a sink that I'm also not gonna use because it takes four hours to collect water from it. Um, and of course, I don't know, like, special, yeah, what, what does make me special? Well, I've got these moles. Oh, no, 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 we're not talking about my moles, but like a mole, yeah, this is a place for the, okay. I see what, you, what we're saying now. Now let's put down Mr. Sheep Squatch Man uh, because he has to go in the camp. Or radio, so we can listen to that god-awful pirate radio. Oh no, that's a beautiful program. Thank you so much for adding that content. And um, I love it so much. Now here, what, what's happening now? Um, maybe I should have slowed this down a little bit, but I was really concerned, you see, because I am not actually giving a tutorial here. You can do whatever with this space that you want. If you want to do what I've done here, it doesn't really require a tutorial. You just pile shit in a circle that you like. But it is, you know, a very unique location, so I kind of wanted to showcase some, like, an example of what you could do with this space, which, you know, I think is pretty fun. And the method for building here is to just run around in a circle putting stuff down in a circle and uh, that's really clever isn't it aren't you glad you came and so far I've wasted six minutes almost seven of your very short life that you have on this earth and to that I say thank you so much for spending your time with me today because god I'm sure you're regretting it um, now, I burned the weapons bench so I could put something underneath it. Then, of course, my ADHD was more powerful than I've ever experienced it before, and I never did anything for about 75 years. Um, and so I just spent about four years trying to put the scrap box in a place that made sense. Then I put a little, you know, uh, thingy underneath there. Uh, some stuff won't play nicely, won't want to place down. Um, when that happens, just scream and swear. Uh, expletives and profanity at your at your screen that's what I did and it didn't work it didn't help anything um, it didn't save my time let's look at the fridge for a bit yeah that was fun aren't you glad we did that and that I took the time to edit that out me too let's put an Easter egg in there because well it's almost Easter fuck is it a it actually is okay that was gonna be a joke but then I realized I just don't have any time management skills and I've blown another year of my life and it's already March. How the fuck have we... Okay, so let's move the filing cabinet. We have to keep it in the build. We know how important filing cabinets are. Let's make sure we can use the bench. Um, you want to make sure those benches are accessible. If you put something in front of it, sometimes you can still use it, but mostly you can't. Let's put a canary in case there's gases leaking out from the swamp itch. I mean the hole that we've dug in the ground. And... Uh, once it's got, once it, you know, becomes dark, we're going to go around in a circle putting lighting in. You want to do that at night so you can actually see what the hell you're doing. Um, and if someone tells you to turn your Pip-Boy light on or your helmet light or, you know, place down a light so they can see, well, you have brightness settings on the device you're watching this. And if you don't, that's actually not, that's not a me problem, that, that is a you problem. And I apologize, I can't fix that for you, but let's check the bed once again. And as we pop out of here, you may get visitors um, from beyond. Or, you know, just like weird people coming by with uh, that got their head in stock inside a cotton candy machine. And, you know, that's not really... Uh... Let's, let's look at the finished build. Now, over here, you can see we've already um, got like one of the moles living in this mole hill. And uh, that's more, that was more to cover up the cotton candy thing. It was making me physically sick. And I said, please, just cover that up. And so now it's a mole. But, like, if you look, it's just a pile of shit. That's all I've done. I've just, I've made you watch me build a pile of shit. And it, you know, it's just, now, now it's a pile of shit with a mole sitting in it. And if we sit down, we can watch TV, we can look and see their overbite because they didn't wear their uh, braces. 
or their retainer after the braces. Now, if you don't do that, your teeth will become crooked again. Now, um, it's nice that we have a demonstration of what this could look like when there's a mole in it. So thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much to my patrons for your support. I'm sure you're regretting it after this video. Um, thank you to you guys for watching. Um, if you guys are not yet subscribed, please consider subscribing. But you don't have to. It's probably within your best interest not to. Um, and I will crouch here because I didn't edit this out either. But I, 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 I will see you in the next video. Are you still there?